It's Flux Friday, the best update show in the hobby. Brought to you and hosted by Dr. Flux. Welcome to another exciting episode of Flux Friday. This is the eighth installment of this series. And if you like the show, I encourage you to like the video, make sure you're subscribed and share with a friend because we're still trying to get a feel. Do we want to keep doing Flux Friday? I personally love the show. I think it's great, but it really comes down to all of you. You know, how many people are watching it? How many people like it? So let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Today's video is sponsored by Flux Labs Patreons and members. To all of you patrons out there and members of Flux Labs, uh, you guys rock. Without you, I mean, it's, it's just a tremendous help and I just wanna extend my thanks to your support. And in particular, I wanna make a special shout out to one member, goes by Obsi. Obsi actually donated a computer to Flux Labs to help with editing. We wanna do more 4K editing, so he basically gave me his, his old rig, which has plenty of memory, good graphics card and everything, so we can actually attempt to start doing some 4K editing. So if you'd like to see more about the Dr. Flux or the Flux Labs Patreon and membership, check it out, links will be in the description. So in today's show, we're gonna be looking at a few things. We got number one, some new releases. We have three new blasters. We're gonna take a look at those and talk about them. We're also gonna talk about how Flux Labs is involved with FaZe Clan. Yeah, if you don't know what FaZe Clan is, we're gonna kinda of talk about what that is and what this all means. And then lastly, we're gonna wrap up with a, just a, a basically a poll that I ran towards the end of last year. I think I might've ran it in the beginning of the year, or last year, or end of last year. But basically we're just gonna kinda of go over that, a little bit of community engagement and talk about those results. So let's get right into it, but first, a quick commercial break. Are you tired of rewiring rapid strikes? Are you tired of all the painful shell cutting and frustrating epoxy work? Well, have no fear because Kelly Industries has you covered with this brand new PCB rapid strike drop-in kit. This amazing product makes modding a rapid strike very easy and actually enjoyable. Here at Flux Labs, we exclusively use the Kelly's Industries PCB rapid strike drop-in kit for our rapid strike mods because they're just so enjoyable to use. Check out Kelly Industries today, link in the description, for a relaxing, enjoyable modding experience. So first up, let's check out some new blasters for 2022. Now this first blaster, let's just get it out of the way because I know a lot of you are not excited for this one. This is the Ultra One that's been recolored for the Screamer Edition. Essentially, this is just a blue Ultra One that comes with the Screamer darts. And yeah, I mean, many of us are not too crazy about the Ultra One, so here's another dose. Here's another run of Ultra One. It's not all negative because I do have one thing I want to talk about. I really want to see what an Ultra One that's been modded for 3S and using the precise or the precision darts, I want to see how those perform. I believe it will surprisingly do well, so. Let me know in the comment section, do you think this is worth my time and energy to actually mod an Ultra One or even the new, you know, Screamer version and then dropping in those, those high performance, you know, precision darts. Is that worth my time? Let me know. But other than that, this is just, you know, Hasbro's classic lazy cash grab where, you know, we just, uh, what do we do? Oh, uh, we recolor it and sell it as something else. What if you just rendered them a different color? You know, that would be cheap and quick. Leave the decisions to me, Kane. There's a reason why I'm the creator of EDS3 and you're just a tester. So moving on to the next blaster, we are looking at one that I'm actually extremely excited about. It could be one of the best releases of 2022. And that is the Trailblazer RD8. So that is a eight round drum and it is hammer primed. So I pulled a little bit of data from the Nerf Wiki. This is, uh, they're calling it the 2022 release of the Wild Edition sub-series. What does that mean? Similar to the Alpha Strike Hammerstorm. So yeah, it's gonna be similar to the Hammerstorm. Uh, it features a single tactical rail on the bottom 
We got our first images that were leaked in 2022, but I don't see what exactly this wild edition is. I wonder, I really hope it's not like a sub, because what they'll do is they'll have your main brand or your main uh, product launch. So for instance, it could be Elite 2.0, Flip 32, you know, the Flip series, or, you know, you got Nerf Rival, you got the Curve Shot. So it sounds like this is gonna be a sub-series underneath one. Unfortunately, this is probably gonna be a sub-series of Elite 2.0, because that's kind of what they're running right now, so. The only downside is, if this really is an Elite 2.0 sub-series, we just hope that it doesn't have glued shells. Like, we hope that there's more screws. Because looking at the Trailblazer, it does have very much similarities to the Hammer Shot, so the question is, if they kept hammer shot similar internals, we could take those old dropping kits and just put them right in there, which would be amazing. But knowing Hasbro, they usually don't work in our favor, so we'll just have to see how it looks when it comes out. And the last blaster to talk about is another Nerf limited, or the LMTD Hasbro's, you know, buy it now, pay for it now, or buy it now, get it a year later blaster. That is Bubba Fett's EE. Tac 3, I believe. It's just, it's Boba Fett's like main, you know, rifle that he uses. So, <laughs> this one's interesting because, you know, at first glance, I was excited. I'm like, yes, 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 thank you so much. I am currently watching the, uh, the book of Boba Fett on Disney Plus. So, you know, I'm getting into that. Great show if you haven't checked it out. If you're a Star Wars fan at all, highly recommend checking it out. So seeing this blaster come out, I was like, this is awesome. But then I started having a little bit of you know, a little bit of uh, shock or I don't know, what, it's not quite P PTSD, but it's like, you know, that feeling of what I experienced with the Mandalorian blaster. Now, many people will kind of say that, you know, the quality and the price and all that stuff, I'm not too leaning too much into all that. What I really was irritated about was uh, I purchased this thing, you know, a year, like a year before it came out. This is a limited edition, you know, Mandalorian rifle. And then right as I'm waiting for months on end, finally like one pops up is like, it's the same shell, just a different color for a lot less money. That really bothered me. So I would hate for something like this to happen. So I don't know if you notice, but here at Flux Labs, painting a blaster is not really a big deal. Like I, I've had years of painting miniatures. So, you know, popping open a shell, dry brushing it, airbrushing it, washing it, you know, doing all that stuff. It's enjoyable, it's what I like to do. So the paint jobs on blasters don't really bother me. So it's like, whatever. So when I look, so what I'm really concerned about is the shell, you know, also, you know, the shell, you can add different things on the inside and mod it and everything. So really it's all about that shell work. And for something to come out as a limited edition blaster, and then a little bit later, release the same thing on shelves at like Target or GameStop or wherever it was, you know, at a, at a cheaper price, that that's not cool. So I just really hope that that doesn't happen with this one or it does and I don't know, I just don't know what to do. Should, sh let me know in the comment section, should I buy this thing? Uh, you know, it's like you get burned once, you know, shame on, shame on me or you, you get burned twice, shame on me. Uh, so let me know in the comment section, what do you think I should do? I truly love this thing. And uh, before we get too off topic, let's at least talk about what it is. So I pulled this off of Hasbro Pulse, so let's kind of run through what it's got. Uh, they got their, their typical thing, you know, you got your pre premium deco decorations, you know, the Nerf LMTD Star Wars EE TAC 3 blaster measures 30 inches long and captures this icon in a one-to-one -one scale. That's cool, it's a one-to-one. -one. Every part of this blaster is meticulously captures details inspired from the book of Bab Bubba Fett series, including battle wear details and weathering deco throughout. The colors inspired by Bubba un Bubba's unmistaken armor. This blaster is a fantastic addition to any Star Wars collection. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're a big Bubba Fett fan, which I am, I mean, I'm more of a fan of Bubba Fett than I am the Mandalorian because I've known Bubba Fett for like most my life. Like, yeah, <laughs> so super cool. Uh, we go on to talk about the display packaging. You know, they, they love talking about their packages for LMTD, but uh, you know, with a beautiful blaster comes a packaging to match. You know, this comes fully assembled and in display ready packaging, complete with a full sleeve inspired by Bubba's iconic helmet. This packaging also includes loads of custom illustrations inspired from the book of Bubba Fett series. Cool, okay. So what about, what does this thing do? Okay, so yeah, they're definitely really fluffing it up. Uh, we got 
It's Nerf or Nothing. This section we talk about, this is a Nerf Star Wars blaster unlike any other. It comes with an innovative removable drum and loading system. This removable drum allows for quick reloads in a pinch. Open the loading door to load one of the three four dart drums and blast another four darts at your target. Complete with 12 elite darts, you have everything you need to take home your bounty. So we're looking at a removable little four drum little deal that you can pop out, which that's cool. I wish I wish we saw more of that in Nerf blasters. Next up, electronic features. Sounds have always been a critical piece of Star Wars Galaxy, and we made sure to capture sounds for the loading and blasting. Locate your target with the LED illuminated scope with targeting reticle and hear series accurate blasting power at the of the Bubba Fett's EE Tech 3. So yeah, I mean, I think it sounds pretty good. I really want one, but like I said, I'm just a little burnt, you know, so we will see. Uh, I would hate to, I would hate to not get this one and this turns out to be the one that's really good. And I believe it's sitting around 110 bucks or so. So, you know, it's like, uh, it's, a, it's a bit to be shelling out 100 bucks plus every time there's some LMTD thing coming out, but uh, we'll see. And off to our next segment, this one, this one's kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't really, I had to do a little digging on this one. <laughs> All right, so in a nutshell, Zuru Toys sent me an email. Uh, this threw me off because typically I get from, uh, what's it called, the uh, the X-Shot League, I believe. So I'll get an email from X-Shot, and they're like, hey, we want to send you another box, and you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool, we'll send it. This one came from Zuru Toys. So Zuru Toys is like the overall arcing, like, it's kind of like Hasbro to, is to nerf. So. You know, Zuru is the main company, X-Shot is like that subdivision of the main company. So Zuru sends me this thing and they're like, hey, we got a new uh, we got a new box we want to send you to look at and, you know, make some content and whatnot. I'm like, cool. Uh, I started looking at it closer and I'm like, what is this thing? So after doing a little bit of digging, I see that they uh, basically, Zuru Toys has partnered with FaZe Clan uh, to do a limited release of some clear blasters, you know. More clear, more recolors, reshell, or re, they're not even reshells, they're just coloring their blasters something else. In this case, it's some clear translucent blasters. Uh, these are ones that we're familiar with. It's uh, the Orbit and the Meteor. You know, we're kind of used to these. They're, they're great blasters, don't get me wrong, but we're just getting another, another variant of them. I don't know what's going on with Zuru. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it in a little bit but essentially they're not really doing any shell designs. They're not redesigning new blasters. We, we just keep seeing the same thing, just recolored, re-released, you know, they'll take this blaster, recolored or something, or they'll take that one, put them in little battle sets, sell it to something else. There's a lot of that. They, they got their IP, it's strong IP, you know, they're strong products, you know, like the Reflex 6 or whatever. They'll, they'll keep mi mixing and matching them in different battle packs reselling them reselling them and they're i'm sure they're doing well and that's why they keep doing it but as the hobby like or as you know someone in the hobby and someone that's anticipating new 2022 releases you know you just see more of the same stuff and this is like come on we bag on hasbro a lot for this you know we bag on them for jolt reskins for strife clone or strife reskins but these aren't even reskins from Zuru or X-Shot. This is just the same blaster with a different color. Back on topic, <laughs> the FaZe Clan. Many of you, if you're my age or, you know, or probably many of you just probably who don't know what FaZe Clan is, I had to do a little research on this. I went to Wikipedia because yes, I'm old. You know, I'm not keeping up with the trends, I guess. But there is a, uh, I guess we'll call it an eSports team or group knows this known as phase clan let me just read you what i say on wikipedia because it's the best way to go because I, I basically knew nothing about this until until like looking it up uh let's see phase clan formerly f-a-z-e so phase sniping that's what it was formerly known as is a professional esports and entertainment entertainment organization headquarters in los angeles california usa founded on may 30th 2010 the organization has played around the world across multiple games, including Call of Duty, Counter Strike, Global Offense, Player Unknown, PUBG, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, FIFA, Valorant, Fortnite, and Royal, and Rocket, and it just goes. It says a lot of first-person shooter-type games, and you know, Last Man Standing, Battle Royale stuff. Okay, cool. We got a we got a group of group of gamers that have formed up 
Um, what else we got? Oh, uh, Rocket League. We got in 2022, the organization expanded into the Asian market, acquiring Thai PUBG Mobile and FIFA Online roster. So we can see that, you know, these esporters have just basically, well, Zuru probably reached out to them and, you know, they're going to say, hey, we're going to run some blasters, throw your logo on it and, you know, tap into that market. All right. It sounds fine. This does really remind me of the whole Zuru's partnership or the collaboration they had with Ninja, where they just re they recolored once again, you know, recolor, reskin it all in the in the Ninja colors. Are they going to do that again? This time, just redo it all in clear. I guess. I mean, this is their marketing strategy. It's cool that Zuru is partnering up with content creators doing this collaboration work and kind of show that younger audience, hey. Hey everyone, we're hip, we're cool. You know, it's just like, this is not a new strategy. This is a, this is a long marketing strategy that's used for many, many years. As long as we've had, you know, these, uh, we've had these companies trying to sell toys to, to kids and whatnot. So they're, they're doing what they can. I, I'm just, you know, I'm not happy. And I know a lot of others are not happy because just, just give us some products. We want to see some cool products. I don't care if you recolor the same thing and call it, you know, hey, check it out. It's the Coop special, you know. I'd rather see a new, like, blaster shell, you know, some new thing. I would even be fine with just more Reflex 6 reshells, you know, where they just take the Reflex 6 and put it in a different body. That's fine, because a Reflex 6 is amazing. Um, another thing worth talking about, where is Zuru's flywheelers? You know, I'm. there's not much of that. And uh, the final thing I wanted to point out Here's an idea. Here's a concept that would save Zuru, in my opinion, for the hobby. For the hobby, I, I don't know how well they're doing as far as like a company as a whole, um, but I know they're combating the whole like Nerf versus X shot thing. Like that's a, that's a big spicy topic for another day. But we can uh, definitely see that the company is still around. They're still making stuff, or maybe they took a hit. I don't know. But something I think would help them tremendously, and this might be why there's not a lot of shell design and that kind of stuff possibly we have an X shot. Well, we'll say Zuru, because I see that they're using Zuru. Maybe Zuru is gonna push out another line of blasters known as the Pro line or the Pro series. Maybe this collaboration with FaZe Clan could be, you know, that whole like introduction into their Pro line. Maybe that's what they're gonna use. For all we know, there could be a whole line of clear, short dart shooting Zuru blasters labeled as FaZe Clan, and they're just gonna dominate with, you know, a really cool pro series. Who knows? Here's for wishing. So this next segment, we're gonna take a look at the community poll we ran. As we come up on 2022, what would be the best product to see released? Let us know in the comment section if you have an idea not listed. So we got, <laughs> we got some good ones here. Uh, we have the Adventure Force version of the Dart Zone Pro Mark III. Obviously, everyone wants this. We've all been talking about it. Uh, many of us have mentioned, you know, Walcom S7 mentioned, you know, it'd be nice to see that, but make it semi-auto. We're fine with that. Uh, short darts only, semi-auto blaster, basically a Spectrum, but it's like a pro version that shoots short darts. Great. That'd be amazing. 50% uh, of everyone says, yeah, that's what we want. We want that. So that's, uh, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, next up, Busby releases a pro line with short darts. 10% of people. Uh, not a lot of Busby love out there, which, you know, we, we've we seen over the past year. We don't know what's going on with Busby. You know, they, they have such potential. They have so much, so much potential to be an awesome, like, make some super cool stuff. You know, go, go back, make a lever action, short dart shooting pro line sentinel, and boom, you now are the community's favorite creator out there, or favorite toy company. <sighs> Just give me a call. I, I got so many good ideas. Come on, Busby. Next up. Oh, and that was, yeah, 10% of people. Uh, next up, Mega XL Magazine Blasters. We're talking about Mega XL. We're talking about a cereal box size of magazine that just slaps into a, a mess. <laughs> uh, it's, it's comical. 24% uh, of people say, yeah, give me that. That is That sounds great. I'm probably one of those. <laughs> I want a ridiculous... And, and I don't even want like a, a low capacity. I want like a 12, 12 round Mega XL magazine blaster. Ugh. Next up, we got official Nerf Rival Proton Pack. 
Sorry out of darts, but man, imagine if Nerf decided, hey, we're gonna have our own proton pack. We look at back in the day with the old super soakers with the backpack and the big hose with the blaster. Oh, something like that is like a Nerf branded proton pack, you know, rival spewing thing that has a similar build quality to like a, a rival Percy's, you know, with their chargeable pack. Man, would that be amazing. Come on, Hasbro. That is so amazing that we just know it won't happen. We're gonna say that. But, you know, 10% of people say, yeah, that's what I dream of every night. And then lastly, is kind of just a little joke, you know, the Flip 64, you know, and obviously we keep going on, you know, Flip 128. Uh, yeah, so 6% uh, of people would like to see a Flip 64, which is just comical. We're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna to show the top three comments off of this survey. So if you, if you want your comments to end up here, think of something good, upvote stuff, and I will read your comments in this portion of Flux Friday. So we got uh, Grant KP says, a proton pack thing, you know, proton pack in quotation marks, like thing would be great for those of us who can't get one because of backlogs. Um, I was unaware of this, and if, out of darts, if you're in chat, uh, I thought you guys, I thought we can order proton packs. Does it just have a, like a lot, a lot of lead time? I thought you can go buy one right now and get one relatively quickly. So I don't know. I don't know about that comment, but that was one of the highest upvoted comments. Next up, we got M00K says, I still have hope for Busby. Either them or Xshot are going to do awesome stuff this year. I sincerely hope you're right. Like I said earlier, man, I would love, absolutely love a pro series of Xshot. We'll see. And the number one comment was from a hormonal llama that says, I think Busby releasing a pro line with short darts would be the funniest turn of events of all time. <laughs> I agree. You imagine that? They just come in, just dominate the scene. Get out of here, X-Shot. Get out of here, Dart Zone. See a nerf. Check this out. It's like full on. It's like the ergo is perfect. Like everyone's been knocking on Busby for weird grips and stuff, and they just release this powerhouse fully modular like imagine this this is what i don't understand like that we don't have companies doing this you have a blaster right a base model and then they sell these like really easy upgrade packs like so you got the base blaster and then they have an upgrade pack with like a scar the back end pops off you know kind of like the dart zone mark three or whatever like how dart zone's doing but but it's like a little bit more intuitive like it pops off and this new thing pops on boom, now you went up by, you know, 10, 15 FPS. Or if it's a flywheeler, like you can basically change the front end, you know, kind of like how FDL was trying to do where you have the short and the long nose, you know, that kind of stuff. But make it more like injection molded plastic where it's just like, like Legos, you know, it's a, it's a modular system. Man, you imagine a pro line like that? Or it's like you buy your base blaster and it, it'd be a way for you to justify the cost. Like, you can buy your base, and then after all your add-ons and stuff, the thing costs like $150, but it's products. Like, you're just buying them over time and, and putting them together. But, oh, I don't know. It's too cool. I don't think most of you do that. <laughs> well, I'm Dr. Flux. I'm going to thank you for watching today's episode of Flux Friday. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can see when we make new content. Content like this content like this. This is a video that should be coming out soon. Or content like this. This amazing blaster I just recently got from Valor. Video will be coming. So just want to thank you all for watching. As always, happy foam flinging. Mm -hmm.